Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain the image formation in concave lens. Because uh, in my previous video, I was explaining about the drawing uh, strategy and the process in case of convex lens. And now in this video, I'm going to explain uh, what should be the process and what is the explanations and descriptions of image that is formed in concave lens. So you see that uh, I hope that in the previous video and of course you know that what is F and 2F and how to draw this because this is very very important to draw these figures accurately and using compass pencils uh, properly that should be the much more accuracy that is required here but I'm drawing from my assumptions in in my own hand it not might not be uh, much more accurate but when you draw uh, make sure this is accurate so from this point you draw this one uh, through your compass and from this point you draw this one and then using this use a scale to make it very uh, straight and uh, that would be much more um, accurate and the image formation will also be accurate so we know this is F and this is 2F so this is also F and 2F similarly F and 2F. So your questions might be why I draw two pictures because this is important from my side that I want to show you that whether you kept your object whether you kept your object in front of your concave lens the image will be formed in the same place but it's not true in case of convex lens. In convex lens we will see that uh, you, 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 if you watch my videos on a rule of six in case of concave mirror which is applicable in case of rule of six in case of convex lens but in concave lens it's simple because always image would be virtual always image would be erect always image would be diminished or smaller in concave lens how Think about it. Suppose, suppose uh, uh, an object is placed here in uh, 2F. Suppose, and here also between F and 2F. So I get two different objects in two different places. It's uh, placed in 2F distance from the optical center. You know from the sign convention. Uh, videos that in lens all the distance are to be measured from the optical center of that lens so similarly here this is the optical center and this is the object which is placed between f and 12 now what is going on the first thing is that a beam of light will fall into the lens from the peak of the object and then after falling what will happen it will be diverging and it will be diverging and appearing that it's going from the focus right so it will be like that so it will be like that from the focus so it will be like that that from that focus it's it's diverging and in other case that it will be like if another rays is coming from the centripetal or the center of the optical center then it would never change the positions so when the next light will go through the optical center through the optical center and then it will be like that you see where is the meeting point of that of that refracted diagram you see this is going on that way, this is going on that way. So there is no possibility of these two points will meet each other. So they will meet here and this is a virtual point that meet. So the object would form here. This is the image and this is the object. So if I say that A and B is the object, then A prime and B prime is the image. Similarly, you see that when object was placed in between F and 2F, what's going on? A parallel ray to the principal axis and then it will be diverging from F 
so it means that it is diverging or appearing that it's coming from the principal focus and then the second option is that the line will go through the beam of light and go through the optical center or the center so so when this is coming from this way you see that similarly it's forming here it's forming here that means in between in between the center of optical center and the focus so you see that in both cases this object was placed in 12 this object was placed in between f and 12 wherever you kept the object it will always be the first line that will go through the parallel of the principal fold, principal axis and then it will diverge that that is coming from that is appearing coming from focus so similarly it's like that because we know that all the focal length in case of concave lens is negative so similarly here and here in both cases image is forming in between f and optic center so what is the position so if i explain the the position the position or the description of the image so three things we need to mention that is nature that is position nature and the size of the image so what is the position of the image in between we can say in between in between focus focus and optical center optical center that would be always the image positions in concave lens the nature would be always virtual virtual and erect virtual and erect you see that is erect uh, image that is formed and the size would be always smaller or you can say diminished diminished and smaller so you can say that both cases and in, in any cases you can draw it I'm drawing it uh, with my own hand it might be some mistakes up there I mean through the positions because uh, when you will draw through your pencil and compass with your scale that this distance and this distance so all the distance should be equal all the distance should be equal and this optical center all the distance should be measured from this optical center so when you draw it draw it in this way and i will upload some videos with my table shoot that means when i will draw with my own hand through this it will be a table shoot video that i'll be uploading uh, on next so i hope you understand the image description or the image formation process in concave lens so I hope you understand. In next video, I'm coming up with a rule of six or the image formation in convex lens, which is much more interesting. And those who already know the image formation in concave mirror, they will be much more uh, feeling good to see these videos in case of lens because the process of formation of in case of concave mirror would be much more similar in a convex lens also. So take care. I hope you understand this. If you don't and if you feel any questions to be asked, then put me in the comment sections uh, or you can uh, join with me in the Facebook Fahad's tutorial. I will be much more happier to see your uh, feedback and recommendations. Take care. See you. Bye.